Hey guys, today I would like to show you an easy way how we can recolor, add colors to your black and white photo. So I will try to keep it simple and easy to follow. I will avoid very complex selection tools and stuff like that. Only easy tools, easy to follow steps. So first I just made a duplicate of my layer, just in case. And next, I need to clear this a little bit before I can start with colors. So I'm picking Spot Healing Tool. And I will simply click on some damage points like this one, this one, this one. So before I even move to colors, I want to clear some damage. This way I will get better results at the end of this project. Okay, guys. So you can start with this step or if your photo is perfect, just skip it and move to the next one. For me, I need to clear some, so let me just speed up this video for a moment. Okay, it seems like I was able to remove most of the noise from the face and the background. In addition, I also applied some light blur on the back, on the background behind her. Now I'm going to make a new black layer. I will pick just brush tool, normal brush tool. I can reduce hardness and change the size from the panel at the top over there. We can also use brackets to change size on the fly while you're using the tool. Just brackets on your keyboard. Okay, let's pick the color. And this is the easy method without some any complex selection. We're just going to use brush tool with color. I'm going to reduce opacity a little bit to 80%. And I'm ready to apply the first color on her hair. I got a new blank layer for that. So. Now you can zoom in and start working with this brush tool. We just kind of want to paint the color over the photo. And then we're going to change the whole layer, blending style to overlay. You see, this way this new color is blending much better with original shadows and lights from the photo on the layer below. So the whole trick here is to use overlay as blending mode for the whole layer with the new color. And also we will try to separate colors. We will keep each color separately on a new layer. This way we can adjust opacity and contrast and even modify the color later on. Okay, so now you need to just use your brush tool and paint over the area you want to recolor. Be sure you're using overlay as the method of blending layers. So the whole layer is overlay. You don't need to set up the brush into overlay. That's all right. Just keep it as normal brush and then change the overlay for the whole layer.
And here it is, my first layer with the brown color on it. I set a blending to overlay and I paint on the new layer above the photo. I will need to pick a little bit darker color, darker brown color for her eyebrows. And I will keep it on the same layer with the rest of the hair. Okay, maybe this one. A little bit too strong, so I undo and I'm going to reduce the hardness of the brush. So the border of the brush is a little bit softer. Smaller brush, I reduce the size using brackets, something like this, and on this side as well. Don't worry if you think the color is, is too strong, we can reduce the opacity of the whole layer. That's what I'm going to do. So, drag the slider and we can reduce opacity of the whole layer. So the color is not too strong. Okay, for this layer I think 66% will be alright. Let's zoom out and see. Okay, we got our brown color. Seems it's a little bit too strong border. Maybe I will add a little bit of blur to this layer. See, this way it will be blending with the background a little bit better. A little bit of blur. So we got softer edge. Nice. So we got our first color on. We are ready to create a new layer. Change the color of our brush. And paint the second color. drag this layer below because I'm going to work on facial area face here skin color and again we need to change the blending mode to overlay and it will be exactly the same workflow from now on so I'm going to speed up the whole video from now on to be twice as fast double speed so we can went through it a little bit faster is exactly the same workflow. We're making a new layer for a new color, then we are using brush tool with kind of soft brush to paint a new color above the picture, original picture. Don't forget to change the blending mode into overlay so it can blend with original shadows and lights from the source photo that is below. After you finish with the color area, you can adjust opacity to make it more natural or you can also Blend it a little bit using blur on the whole layer. Just try to keep one color on one layer. Of course, if there's like one little element in different color, you can just add it to other layer that is around. That's all right. But in general, try to keep as many layers as you can. And as you can imagine, it's totally up to you how many layers you, with new colors you, you can add. Just three new colors. That's all right, you want to make this photo more realistic, you can add three different layers just to cover the hair area of different shades of brown. You can be more precise than me if you really need better results. In this tutorial, I would like to show this easy way where we are using this brush tool. So everybody should be able to follow this way. There are also other ways to do that with very complex selection tools. I don't wanna Talk about this in this tutorial, maybe in the future, but for now you can use this easy method. Just use brush tool and overlay blending mode to add some colors to your black and white photo. Okay guys, so stick around to the end of the tutorial. If this is helpful, this method is helpful and you were able to follow that and recolor your own photo, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel so you can stay tuned and see my next tutorial. Okay guys, thank you for today, I hope you have learned something new.